How's it going fellow Helldivers? I hope you're all doing well and still fighting the good fight for Super Rav. In today's video we're going to let all you pyromaniacs run loose with this bug burning build. A small disclaimer, this build is just aimed for the bugs and is made as an alternative way to play. It's not meant to be a meta or S tier or anything like that, but it's meant to be fun and effective. So we'll kick this build off with our primary weapon and it's no surprise we're using the incendiary breaker. This shotgun applies burn effect to all enemies and is a great weapon for dealing with those small hordes and especially those pesky hunters. Its burn effect is very noticeable and you can light entire bug breaches on fire with just a spray of the breaker. The breaker can be found in the Steeled Veterans Premium War Bond and will cost you 60 medals. For our secondary we've got the grenade pistol. Since our crowd control is already sorted with the breaker shotgun, this is used for closing bug holes and for taking out the occasional medium armoured enemy, such as the hive guards or the brood commanders. The grenade of choice is the incendiary impact grenade, which can be found in the Polar Patriots war bond that's just come out. This is my favourite grenade at the moment as it deals explosive damage whilst applying a line of fire to weaken any surviving bugs. It's also great for weakening advancing enemies and can be used to great effect on choke points or bug breaches and as I've found it's perfect for defending extracts as well as they tend, they tend to get enemies come from just one direction normally so this is great for cutting off that line of advancement. When fighting the bugs I use the CE74 Breaker Light Armour for its great mobility and amazing armour passive which gives us a 30% recoil reduction when crouched or prone and more importantly increases our grenade infantry and carrying capacity by 2 and when throwing the incendiary impact grenades those extra 2 make a huge difference and lets you play a bit more aggressively and not have to worry about running out so quickly. And before we move on to the stratagems, I just wanted to thank all of you for watching and supporting my content. If you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing and being part of the Blaggers on our journey to 1,000 subscribers. So on to stratagems, and my first stratagem I take with me is the Eagle 500kg bomb. This goes without saying, but it's used for taking out the Bile Titans that you find constantly on the higher difficulties, and I find it to be the most effective and frankly the easiest weapon to use when taking them out. You can use something like the Rail Cannon Strike, but I find that doesn't always take them out, and if you use something like the Precision Strike, you run the risk of missing. So the 500kg is normally the safest way to go in my opinion. Next up, you probably could have guessed it, but being a fire build, it would be rude not to include the Eagle Napalm Strike. This is such a fun stratagem to use when defending objectives or covering a retreat and when waiting for an extract. It applies a burn effect to a very large area and deals great fire damage over a prolonged time, halting most enemy advances. Another one you probably would have guessed that belongs in this build is of course the support weapon stratagem, the flamethrower. I love using the flamethrower when facing the bugs, from taking out the smaller bugs to more importantly disposing of charges. Also be aware that if you're not careful, you will set yourself or your squad ablaze. So just remember there is a small learning curve when using the flamethrower. When it comes to taking down charges, I find the flamethrower to be one of the best ways of consistently killing charges and multiple charges in that instance, without having to worry about call-in times or weapons recharging or very long reload times. You just point and burn and within half a canister, the charger is dead. And I will always try to leave the last spot free so anyone can bring their favourite stratagem along. I personally change mine depending on the mission I'm doing. If I have to take out multiple nests, I'll bring along the ever-reliable Eagle Airstrike. If I'm doing a Terminate mission, I'll probably take a Sentry or a Personal Shield. And sometimes if I just want to have fun or get lots of kills, I'll take the Guard Dog Rover or the Jump Pack. Whatever you want to make your time playing not just effective, but fun too. And when regarding boosters, I'll always make sure someone has the Stamina Enhancement Booster and the Vitality Booster on as well. Anything after that, I'll just pick to cater to the mission. So I hope you found this video informative, and please let me know if you're going to give this build a try. And is there any builds you've tried that weren't necessarily meta or the normal, but really fun to use whilst also being effective? Please be sure to like and subscribe for more content, and consider checking out some of my other guides. I'll leave some footage at the end here to see the full build at work, and as always, I'll see you on the battlefield. Blagger out. Oh, he 
Right. 